Ayurveda is a system of medicine which gets advertised as being all natural and herbal with no side effects providing a holistic treatment and contains no chemicals. Is it really so? A recent tweet by the liver doc exposes this myth. He analyzed an Ayurvedic concoction that was given to one of his patients and the results were startling. Welcome to Pale Blue Thoughts, the channel which debunks pseudoscience and promotes scientific temper. When modern medicine doctors prescribe a medicine, they know exactly which chemical is being given, the specific indications that it creates and how the drug interacts within the body and on our organ systems. They know the dose range that is effective, the duration for treatment and the doses that are unsafe and ultimately the excretion of that chemical out of the body. Medical science is also aware of the dosing in various subpopulations in children versus adults, pregnant versus non-pregnant women and in the elderly, in those with or without liver or kidney disease etc. Check out this piece of information about ibuprofen, a commonly available over-the-counter drug. See this information that is available for paracetamol, how clear and informative it is. The same goes for any modern medicine drug. Modern medicine drugs come with detailed information regarding the contents, dosage, indications, contraindications and possible side effects. You can even look it up online and it is the manufacturers themselves who puts out this information to the general public. The system is transparent. There is a risk versus benefit analysis that is done for the side effects. Only if the benefits outweigh the risk do medicines reach the market and they come out after three phases of rigorous trial. Even after the drug is in the market, the trials don't stop. There is pharmacovigilance which still evaluates the long-term side effects. All this makes this form of system scientific and beneficial to humankind. I have done several videos on this and I shall link up the playlist on the screen and in the description box if you want to watch and learn. But what about alternative medicines? Homeopathy is easy. It should just say plain water. What about Ayurveda? They advertise it as being chemical free. Is it really so? Nothing in this universe is without chemicals. Rather, everything in this universe is made of chemicals. If you can prove that there is something that is not made up of a chemical, you have a chance to become super rich. The Royal Society of Chemistry has announced a 1 million pound bounty to the first person who can crack the impossible, create a product that the RSC considers to be 100% chemical free. 1 million pounds equates to 10.5 crores in Indian rupees under today's conversion rates. This challenge was made in 2010 and is still valid. Till date, no one has been able to win this bounty. The makers of these products should try for the challenge, don't you think? Why do you think no one has ever won this prize? Now get this right. Everything in this universe, and I mean everything, is made up of chemicals. The water that you drink is a chemical called dihydrogen monoxide, H2O. The food that you eat is made up of chemicals. The fruits, the vegetables, your chair, your bed, the air that you breathe right now is all made up of various chemicals. Your whole body is made up of chemicals, some 60 of them. Roughly 96% of the mass of the human body is made up of just four elements – oxygen, carbon, hydrogen and nitrogen – with a lot of that in the form of water. So if someone tells you that something is not a chemical, tell them that they are wrong and give them the link to the RSC challenge. Now coming to the topic under discussion, a patient with serious liver cirrhosis visited the liver doc Dr. Siria Kabi Phillips recently. She had been prescribed an Ayurvedic concoction for general wellness and loss of appetite by an Ayurved. The Ayurved had no clue about clinical medicine, the scientific medical examination, the human anatomy, physiology, biochemistry as well as pharmacology because of which he missed the cirrhosis in the woman. Sadly, the state of the middle-aged woman was so bad that she didn't survive the ordeal and is no more. The concoction had no name on the bottle and it was just a brown colored sludge. Now the scientifically proficient doctor analyzed the concoction that was prescribed to the poor woman and then came the shocking results. Take a look at this chemical analysis of the sample.
this was the chemical composition of the so called medicine that was prescribed to her it is full of chemicals many of them highly dangerous it was this that led the poor lady to her grave she took it out of her belief that it was all herbal and natural and free of chemicals and had no side effects the only side effect that there was was liver cirrhosis and death beware of alternative medicine systems they don't cure but they can actually kill ayurveda advertises itself as being chemical free with no side effects which is a total lie this chemical analysis proves it with evidence and there are no side effects because no one cares to study if there are any also ayurvedas don't conduct scientifically accepted trials for checking the efficacy and safety even the trials and researches that they do are poorly designed or the data manipulated to fit what they want to find now how can ayurveda claim itself to be chemical free when the plants and herbs from which these dangerous mixtures are made contain thousands of chemicals within them i have said this before plants are not chemical free they contain thousands of chemicals which is essential for their survival and for warding off the insects and animals that prey upon them some of them might have useful effects on humans but most are highly dangerous if consumed above the ld50 values to think plants were created for the benefit of humans by nature is just an idiotic myth and if someone blatantly advertises something as chemical free it is a blatant lie these people should be jailed in fact there is a law in this country called the drugs and magical remedies act which has been in place since 1954 which controls advertising of drugs in india it prohibits advertisements of drugs and remedies that claim to have magical properties and makes doing so a cognizable offense the penalty carries a maximum sentence of 6 months imprisonment with or without fine on first conviction in case of any subsequent conviction the term may be up to a year if the convicted party is a company all members of the company will be deemed guilty the initial list contain 54 diseases for which no company or individual is supposed to advertise a cure the irony of this law is that for any changes to the act permission has to be sought not only from the drugs technical advisory board but also from ayurveda and unani practitioners what a hoard of rubbish but is this law enforced in india not at all look at the blatant way this law is misused by companies like patanahi anjali and other alternate medicine manufacturers even the ayush ministry blatantly violates this law and advertises products which they say cures diseases present in the list like diabetes obesity etc and when the general public who are chemophobic hears the words chemical free herbal natural organic no side effects and so on they fall headlong into the scam the general public is being fooled into consuming these dangerous chemicals and they are being duped of their money and more importantly their health it is time to act against this which is why i support the great service that people like krish ashok of masala labs the liver doc abby philips and pranav of sciences dob do through their social media please do check out their social media handles or youtube channels if you are still not following them links are in the description box hats off to all of you guys me and my channel would always support your cause and will try and spread the invaluable information that you provide to us of them my personal favorite is the liver doc who single handedly fights alternative medicine systems through his twitter handle do check out his twitter handle for invaluable health information which is scientific and accurate his brilliant writing style and his dark humor sarcastic replies makes me roll on the floor laughing always in fact his timeline has many more such gruesome incidents where people have suffered at the hands of these charlatans i myself have done videos on it and by the looks of things i would have to do many more if you too care for the health and well-being of the large section of people in this country do share this video to ensure that the right information reaches the people and those who are ignorant about the dangers of unscientific medicine don't suffer at the hands of these quacks and don't end up in their graves now the next time some alternative medicine practitioners or ayurveda and homeopathic sympathizers come with an argument that modern scientific medicine is just 
chemicals are synthetic please show them this video open their eyes we cannot directly fight the system but educating the common public is something which we can continue to do let there not be any more preventable deaths due to consumption of these dangerous chemicals join me in the fight against unscientific medicine i hope you like this video do let me know in case you want me to do a video on chemophobia by putting a comment plus one in the comment box youtube tells me that almost 60 percent of the people who watch my videos do it without subscribing to the channel please do click on the subscribe button and also tap the bell icon and select all which will enable you to receive notifications when i release my videos also your subscription means a lot to me as it is a motivation for me to make more scientific videos so please do if you would like to become a member of this channel that option is also enabled thanks bani prakash for being our first member if you would like to contribute towards the cause you can click on the super thanks button under this video or click on the buy me a coffee link in the description i shall be back with yet another interesting video until then it's bye bye from pale blue thoughts